Hello everybody, welcome back to more Astro Narc. We are going to be doing a corruption run today. The level 1 corruption, of course, of course. We will <laughs> we'll try to rank it up over time, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, normal enemies will have more HP. I believe it's something like a 10% or, or something like that. Nothing like really too big of a deal uh, anyways, so I feel like we might as well give it a try. We are absolutely using the Alchemist, no matter what. Because it's a new character. Of course we're going to use it. Uh, your attacks poison a random enemy for 8% attack damage every 3 seconds. And grant a random, or yeah, uh, a random minor blessing to a random hero. Which is pretty interesting. So in theory, I see that and I see super fast attack speed. Because that strikes me as a, a crazy, crazy thing. And uh, the... Catalyst active ability basically duplicates up to three random poison effects. I, I mean, it's it's pretty huge. Seems like a very, very good situation right there. Uh, as for what else we're going to do, we obviously need to generate some kind of tanky unit here. Um, let's see. Berserker has like no HP, but he also has really good healing over time. So there's something to that, using the Berserker as a tank and just making sure to buff up his HP in some way. I mean, we could... I don't know. We could, we could try that. It's a little risky. It's a little wild. We could also get ourselves... Let's get ourselves the Juggernaut. And then also the Berserker? How about that? We have the Alchemist, the Berserker, and the Juggernaut. So we can have... Kind of our more tanky unit, our unit that we can try and generate a little bit of tankiness for. Oh, hell. And then we, of course, got our backline as well. All heroes have their max HP increased by 10%, attack increased, defense increase, or cost of active abilities down by 15%. Oh, it's a tough, it's a tough choice for sure. Uh, 10%, that's an extra 60, that's an extra 80... It's pretty big. Defense up. I mean, uh, let's go with the defense up here. 46. I mean, it should make a pretty decent difference here. Uh, we have, you know, some healing, but I don't think we need to be too particularly worried about going to the elite forest here. I think we rock the K, like the, well, whatever we do. We just rock the bottom path and eventually make it so we get to the elite battle. And then the elite battle. I think we uh, we try and put ourselves in a position where we can make that happen. Your attacks reduce your target's defense by 4 and speed by 2%. Steal 50 max HP from your target. I feel like this is the, uh, the way to go here. I'm really excited to see these buffs. Increased defense. Increased speed. These are, yeah, these are some really interesting little, uh, little buffs that we're getting here. I, I, I'm excited by that. I'm very excited by that. Uh, 10% speed, your first 10 attacks grant 3 MP. Your attacks deal 100% attack damage to your target if they have any shield. Or 15 defense and 10 piercing damage to attackers. Let's make sure we get some good solid defense first. Since we don't have, like, the Alchemist is a good supporting unit. Damage taken, damage healed. So that counted as a heal. Good to know. Uh, you know, we probably should have... Uh, that's an interesting thing to note. We don't have anything that has to do with uh, adjacency, do we? Yeah, because the Minor Blessing has nothing to do with adjacency. That's very much something to uh, keep in mind. That's a huge benefit, in fact. Uh, okay, five attack. Every attack increases your speed by 2%. This seems like a prime thing to do. For you there, so uh, five attack damage. Four, so that does buff up the poison damage by one, which is actually a really big, big increase when it's gonna infinite stack. You know. Okay, receive an upgraded item. All heroes bleed uncontrollably. Wait, is the next fight? So the next fight is not the uh, the big one. All heroes have reduced healing next combat. This is such a bad idea. 40 starting MP. Immunity to silence, frost, and active ability cost increases. So who do we want to be using their ability? Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess we'll go with the alchemist for now, right? Duping the uh, the poison tax. 40 starting MP with 74 max there. Reduce a random enemy's max HP by 150. Eh, whatever. Uh, it doesn't seem t like doesn't seem too bad, all things considered. So yeah, we duplicated that. I guess that's not that good. We may lose ourselves here. We're gonna get that stun off, which should actually maybe buy us enough time here. It did. It bought us enough time. Awesome. There was absolutely no penalty in what we risked there. Uh, your attacks have a 30% chance to apply frost. Putting speed on the berserker also sounds good due to the fact that we get the extra attack every time. To the point where it almost makes sense to put that on him instead. But, you know, getting a new unit like the alchemist, I feel like I want to really... I, I, like, I really just feel like I want to make sure we invest in making them shine specifically. What is this? All heroes gain the MP. Okay. Uh, anything to do with adjacency? Do not believe so. Piercing attack damage. Heal for 40% of any enemy healing effects. Alright, this should all be fine. But yeah, it's almost not good that we start with that extra 40 starting MP. Yeah, because we're duplicating one when we could be duplicating three. Oh, this is this is actually not going so good. Let's get that mana on here. Get that mana on here. Get that mana on here. Get that stun, which will not go. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we, we only lost one. That, that could have been way worse. It was absolutely worth uh, going for there. A uh, huge boost to our frail defense there. We could get the reduced cost of the ability. That's a maybe to me. Let's do this. And then do that. Okay, so this is for the poison and a minor blessing to two random heroes. I really like the sound of that. I really, really, really like the sound of that. Oh, this guy sucks. <laughs> okay. Poison your target and unadjacent enemy. So if we put you here, that shouldn't matter. There should be no adjacent enemy. Okay. Seems like there's no real big downside to that here. So being able to use our active ability quicker on him means he should get that attack buff even faster there. Okay. He's, he's gonna go down. I'm pretty sure. I mean, that, that passive ability there was really, really helpful. Yep, 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 yep. The healing hopefully will, yes, will keep him alive there. Again, one morale to get an ability orb and an item. This is, it's huge. It's a very, very good thing. Your tax deal damage equal to 3% of your current HP. There's something to it, for sure. I think we go with anything like this that generates more uh, more speed for us, though. Apply Ruin to your target and an adjacent enemy. Okay. We'll get that in there. Sure. Let's... Let's stack this up here. Now, we'll, we'll spread the love. We'll spread the love. We want to make sure we get a little bit of a, a safer thing as well there. Uh, this is kind of like giving us a support item, more or less. Hmm. Stun barb is tempting. I think we go with the upgrade, though. I, I really think going for upgrades is a, a very, very smart call. Typically here, increases your active ability. Decreases your active ability by six there. 20 piercing damage to attackers. That's a maybe to me, but I, th I think we upgrade this. It's going to be a really strong item for us. Reduce the speed of enemies. Here's gain MP. All enemies take 225 piercing damage. I'm going to actually take that and put that on my, uh, my little hotbar. I think we saw last time how important potions truly, truly can be. Do we just rock this? What do you do? Well, you know what? I think we do this because we really want to make sure we get single target kill damage off. How much HP? All right. I'll hover my finger over this here. I think to no surprise. Oh. 
not having like a fully fully support focused oh my god unit is is definitely giving us a little bit of a little bit of spookiness all you and all adjacent allies gain shield per second i think we probably want to go for that like plus 50 hp well we might as well have it on you i guess right for now we can change that in the future but we might as well have it there for now oi 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 hmm all right. We should stop spending our money on potions right now, I think. But, uh, you know, I'm cool with getting that there. We're going to want to make sure we head on up and get our elite fight done out of the way. Oh, this guy. What is? What the hell is this? Your attacks reduce your target's attack by two for two, 10 seconds and apply ruin. Poisonous prick. Uh, poison your target for 100% attack damage. So all of this is going to be poison. It's going to be going through our... Uh... Oh, boy. It's going to be going through our defenses. I'm actually thinking that we are going to get a good benefit of just popping that ASAP right there. Otherwise, I could see this fight going really poorly. I remember Spore Spear were really, like, the damage from Spore Spear were adding up like crazy over time. Because uh, it's all AoE and it's, oh my god, yeah, that was a, that was such a smart call on the potion. We would have definitely uh, got bopped there. 10% speed. Your first 10 attacks grant 3 MP. Hmm. Starting MP and a shield. You know what? We'll do that. We'll do that. Go to the normal battle. We'll pop on up to the... Uh, the oh, jeez, Louise. Is it adjacent? Yeah, it's adjacent. Okay, so... This gets us all the targeting of the same unit. You know, this sucks, but it also is fine because we don't have to be adjacent. So I think we'll actually be okay, especially because single target focus is definitely the uh, the thing to go for here. Okay, you're getting buffed up, hopefully. Yeah. As grim as it as it is there, you know, whatever. We, we did lose one, but could have been way worse. Apply poison to attackers for... You know what? Yeah. Absolutely. And we'll get the shield on there before we go and fight our elite. Because that's going to get duplicated by the alchemist. How much poison is it? Three damage. So it's not as good as the alchemists. Okay, you've got negates. All right. No big deal, right? Piercing damage to all. I mean, yeah, it's just there's. It's a, it's gonna be annoying if we could get some uh, some healing over time from our alchemist. That would be fantastic here. If we could get some healing, more healing over time here from our alchemist, like even more. We're gonna summon the little baby, the wee baby, who got wrecked by the stun because he is not immune. All right. Apply frost to random every enemy every two seconds. Your attacks cause your target to bleed. Hmm. Huh. Should we go for the money? Let's go for the money. Let's go for the money. We got an ability orb as well there. Target four times. Ruin to your target in four adjacent. Duplicate up to six random poison effects. I mean, that seems pretty darn good as well, to be honest. What was this? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. Let's actually, let's spread the love a little bit. We'll, we'll spread the love a little bit there. We'll get that upgrade up on him. Yeah. Uh, anything to do with adjacent? Piercing to your target and a random adjacent. I mean, that's going to happen no matter what there. Yikes. I mean, you're not very tanky. Your defense is garbage. We could split things up a little bit, I guess. We could do something like... Hmm. 
I mean, we get we get to uh, get not care about that. I mean, that's pretty good. All right, let's just let's just rock it. This this fight has been historically a little bit on the rougher side. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Well, we lasted there. Please, please, please get your active off. Please get your active off. Nice. All right. Continually only losing the one. I mean, that's okay. It, it makes a lot of sense. It makes so much sense. Hmm. We'll get the, we'll get the one that has the speed here. Move up to the event. Uh, we want to, you know, we, we do want items so that when we, uh, okay, this is actually fine. We get one, one person to attack the Berserker. I think it's okay. We can get the, uh, the passive working. It's not going to be great. He does heal extra when he does cast that there. I mean, it's not good. It's not good. Let's get rid of the bleed. Keep ourselves. Okay. So that may be kept us from no nope nope if we get one more oh he calls another one okay well we got we got got uh your tax increase your defense by two going for that to potentially put on the berserker with a maybe something that maybe we put on the the whirlwind axe then we could have the Whirlwind Axe mixed with the Champion's Guard on the Berserker. That might be something that would be really good for us. To make like an off tank better. I, I, he just needs health. He needs health. That's just the truth. Uh, okay, what do you do? R Ruin and Bleed. I mean, that's rough. Not much we can necessarily do there. You're not immune to frost, are you? Nope. Silence, frost, and active ability costs increase. I think we say sure on that one there. I mean, the bleed and the ruin are going to be rough. There's just, there's nothing, uh, nothing else to say there. Increasing our defense, it's, it's nice, but all right. Here we go. We're just going to have to see how it, how it shakes out. Okay. If he can just if he can just live for a little bit long enough for this uh this ramp damage to really pick up here. The berserker is putting in some extreme work here. Oh my god. He oh, he lived. Tragedy achievement unlocked. Have 50 negative effects on an enemy at one time. Oh my god. Your active ability deals 75% piercing attack damage to a random enemy. That's a maybe. Uh, you gain 25% of the MP expended by enemies at the start of combat. And when you use your active, you gain a shield equal to 150% of your attack. Okay. That sounds kind of fun. We might be able to make some kind of super janky fun off tank out of our uh, Berserker. But like... In a way where he's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, so, boy. Boy. God, why does it have to be adjacent? That makes so much sense, but why? Okay. Oh, boy. For what we need here. We could just go, like, true raw damage. It's a real thing we could do. Uh, Frostmancer is almost a support. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's weird, but we're going for it. What can I say? Let's make haste. Doubles the effects of potions. Ooh, you know we gotta. You know we gotta. Alright, I think middle path is probably our strongest spot here. Go for it. All in there. Uh, okay, so. Equal to your attack. Just attack 
15 MP. Okay, we can put this on you for now. What is this, starting MP? Hmm. We could, apply, uh, we could apply extra frost there. There's nothing wrong with that, necessarily. Okay. Alright, this is this is how we this is how we do it. Sure. This <laughs> is okay. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. I think we go for it. I don't, you know, I don't love, 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 love the Berserker build right now. I think it, it has a chance to become really good, but boy, his health is definitely very low. I'm well aware of that. I think the uh, super low pool is going to be tough. Your attack steal additional damage equal to your defense. Maybe. 15 starting MP. At the start of combat, gain a shield. Your attacks have a 15% chance to stun your target for two seconds. You know, getting that 15% chance with a minus 20% speed mixed with a whirlwind axe that's like double upgraded, that could be really good regardless. Uh, but I don't really know who to put that on. I, it, it would be the juggernaut, if anything. I'm definitely uh, juggling the idea of just going for the gold. All right, reduce the speed of all enemies by 80%. Don't mind if I do. Again, sort of the same thing here, I think. Yeah, I mean, what are we going to do, right? Just, just rock it. Okay. It's not looking too good. Oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Even if the the even if the uh, big old chunker of the juggernaut does die there, we were we still die, did pretty darn good. Uh, damage equal to... Your current HP, another rod of casting. Something, I don't know. I feel like we just need some raw damage. Good old raw damage. For you to go, I, I think that that's like a very fun kind of off tank. The fact that he's a tank and he's doing the most damage, or like he's tanking for us like an off tank and he's doing the most damage is super exciting. Uh, the question is really just what else to do here. I think we, like, want to take a lot of money for a while. Check out an event. Sure. Roll one die. Gain an item. Roll two die to gain an item. Five defense and ten speed. Ooh. I mean, we gained so much more defense just by getting Champion's Guard, so no. No. But I'll, I'll be happy to have it around, I suppose. Upon being knocked out, deal 100 piercing damage to all enemies. I'm, I'm curious to see what the upgrade of that is, because it just doesn't sound particularly enticing to me in its current form. 100 piercing damage is not bad. Prized Regalia is the one that increases your HP and armor to a flat amount. But it can no longer it cannot be increased in any other way. I think that we maybe I think we do it. And moving them away from their adjacent heroes, I mean. Wait, moving them away from their adjacent heroes, that's fine. There is there is no adjacent allies. 
if you have no allies gain 200 frail defense attackers reduce their attack by one you know what are we gonna do you just just start smacking right this is a it's a pretty ideal setup for us to be honest oh that damage please 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 oh my god oh that attack there well we should have some pretty high defense we have 67 defense 69 defense Okay, so there's prize regalia. What is your current defense at? Okay, well, doesn't matter right now. Doesn't matter right now. I think we maybe like. What if we just upgraded it twice? What does it? What does it do? Brings it to 960 and then 65. We're doing it. We're going in. We are going in. He is thick. <laughs> like that. The fact that I'm cool with it, it's due to the fact that this gives us a shield. It does not increase our max HP. It gives us a shield. Uh, and then this, or the, the the active ability and the passive is a percent max HP. This is healing and uh, attack and speed and everything. So it's not going to be that big of a deal as well in that regard. There's no, there's no hard counter in that sense. Do I see this going well necessarily? Uh, yeah, no, we'll just have to see. Apply Doom to all enemies. Oh, boy. I think we swap these because we need the Guard Oath to die. Wait. Hmm. No, we need her. We, we need her to die. We, we need it so if, if possible. We'll nerf her MP. So if anything, she does it, does it once. Yeah, Berserker's putting in so much work there. That speed, 1.1. So I think 1.0 is... No, it's not 1.0. That's the lowest it goes. At the start of combat, reduce the attack and defense of all enemies by 20... Uh, you know? Maybe. Maybe. First time you reduce below 35%, to gain a shield equal to 10% of your max. When you lose 20% of your max HP to single hit, gain a shield. I'm thinking of, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just make sure we keep getting some money here and we will see how this fares. Oh boy. Okay, so it just doesn't really doesn't really matter there we're going to get stunned should we do reduce his speed adjacency doesn't matter all right sure I've had troubles with this guy in the past so if we can like wait a little bit just so we can continually uh, ramp ourselves up in uh, in speed here because the faster we attack the faster we heal ourselves Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, that's good stuff. It's just not even a problem, man. Oh, my God. The Alchemist did the most damage. Was it that because the uh, Berserker probably got stunned earlier? Is that what happened? Attacks cause your target to bleed. 20 attack. I think we do go for that. Over... Over what? It's raw damage. I can't get I can't get rid of the whirlwind axe. No, sir, Bob. Heal two percent max HP. I mean, it is good. All right. Mm. By frost, your target. This makes it so the bleed that we do apply is much spookier. That increases our attack by three now every time we hit, which also indirectly does increase our survivability by increasing our defense there. Uh, deal 25 attack damage to all enemies, steal a random positive effect. If they don't have it, then the bleed. Enemy active abilities cost 20% extra MP. You get 20% of the MP expended. Um... Okay, well, this is going to be good now.
I don't know. I don't know. Tis with tis. Hopefully we can just uh, get in before we have too much issue. So he stole one of... Oh, you know what? This actually works pretty well. He steals all the minor effects. The alchemist actually hard counters this guy. He's stealing... He is stealing our effects. He will always have something to steal, but none of them are really particularly that big of a deal. That was a, such a clean, easy fight. Your active ability increases your speed by 20%. That seems big for you. We'll get that burn... Oops. That burn on somebody else, probably. Minor blessing to three random heroes. Absolutely. Let's check out an event. Alchemist did the most damage there. Interesting. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. 20 gold. And then we have to... Okay, and then we have to do a fight. All right. Um, Max HP super duper reduced. Do we want a single target kill or spread the love? Let's spread the love. Because if, if he's going to have the safety slime, we're going to want him to be hit sometimes, you know? It's, it's not great because we are splitting the... Uh, oh, no. The safeguard there. Please heal. Please, 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 please. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. We should not have split things so much, I guess. Oh, God, we're getting uh, we're getting pummeled. All right, come on, Alchemist. It's your time to shine. Ah, we just duped that there, too. That sucked. Uh, that sucked really bad. Don't split the party, I guess. All right, start of combat and when you use your shield. What is this? Attack or steal 15% attack. I mean, that's good, but... That doubles the effectiveness of that. I mean, I just really want to upgrade everything that that guy has. Really feels like the uh, the big thing to do. Oof. Ah, hell. Ah, hell. Oh, no. This sucks. Steal a random positive effect. I mean, tis with tis. I, yeah, there's not much I can do here. Aside from just kind of like, hope this is not that bad. Oh my god. Okay, we got one kill there, but then we got exploded. We're about to explode right now. Yep, yep, yep. If we would have gotten our active off, maybe it would have been a different story. We actually... That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Uh-oh. That that 10% extra HP is actually actually impacting us here. All right, thank goodness. We can actually get into a, uh, a, a clump again. We do shine better in a clump. We'll take the two there. All right. Uh, Attack of Grant Doom. Sucks. Oh, well. Who's doing? Alchemist is doing the most. All right. You know... Tis with tis, tis with tis, tis with tis. Okay, come on. Come on. Doom is gonna wreck us any moment now. Yep. We are we are getting bodied now. Oh my god. All of a sudden we are just absolutely getting bodied. What do we need? What do we need besides a miracle? <laughs> and we are gonna get healing reduction down here. Oh no. Okay. I just, we need the damage. And with that, with the fact that we're going to get Ruin, we're going to need that there.
Wait, your max HP and defense cannot be increased. It's not saying... I mean, we can't put on this too then, right? Like, I... I like, it's not saying our initial defense, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. This is... This is wretched. Oh, my God. How much does this... Ink Wait. How much does this freaking Corruption 1 change, man? This stuff is just absolutely busted all of a sudden. Oh, my God. I really wish we could have gotten a potion. Okay, anything to do with adjacency? No, but poison's attack... <laughs> all... While your shield is active, poison attack is for 3%. Okay, well, we need to get rid of the shield. That's the best thing we can really hope to do. I think we do this. We let you slowly get bodied. Uh, we want you to be struck first because the poison will stack up over the course of the fight. It'll get duplicated. Uh, apply a major curse. Not a big deal. All right. Well, it's all we can really do here. It sucks. We, we were very much a ramp up over time. We're getting mana reduction there. Okay, he's almost down. That sucks, but what are you gonna do? Oh, that was the major. That was one of the major curse effects. I see. I think it's looking like we're gonna be okay. Yeah. Okay. He like we ramp up. That's the thing. We just need to live. Okay, that's a maybe. Eh, maybe. I think we need to get Final Bastion, put it on our Juggernaut, I guess. It doesn't give any defense, though. It does not give any defense. Who is our final hero going to be? I think we would benefit greatly from it being a unit that does not care about adjacency. However, all of the supporting units care about adjacency. So... We either go for all out. You know? We could just get the gladiator. Just have another really, really chunky unit. To buy ourselves time. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. Heal the weakest adjacent hero. I also don't hate the idea of getting the assassin to slot them in for just like Free, like the fact that they gain the assassin gains hidden makes them a really good final slot in because this is when you can no longer have all your units adjacent. Okay. Boy, I'm I'm conflicted. I'm thinking, what do we have here? Tax increase your defense, defense speed. Speed, does that have anything to do with this? Not really. High defense. 40. You're the highest defense. 57. We could go for the we could go for the paladin. Let's get the paladin. I think that that actually is a good call. I, I think it's okay to have some of this adjacent stuff. Items from combats are twice as likely. 10 more percent more gold. Let's get two more potion slots. Why not? Uh, we'll just have to make sure we super stock. Um, okay. So. Something like that. 
We'll, fig we'll, we'll figure something out for you, Mr. Mr. Juggernaut. Do something like that, followed by... Sure. These kind of work sort of well together. Then we've got... Duplicate nine random poison effects. That seems really, really good for just like long-term situations. Uh, Active or passive. Okay, what's this? Two 50% chances to apply frost. It will also apply to adjacent. That seems like a very good call. It's just a nice, very defensive thing. Um, yeah, it's a defensive, supportive thing for us to do here. Uh, exotic beasts hunger for the magic of which they're starved. I don't really know what that means. Let's go for the uh, up here. Let's go for the up here. Freaking back line, dude. We don't have a good way to uh, attack. We don't have, correction, we don't have a way to attack it. Um, first time you are reduced below 50% max HP. Sure. Move enemies hit away from their adjacent targets. Sure. Uh, what are you, what is your situation? 69. Nice. Um, Who is more dangerous? 180, 190, 250% attack, 50% piercing to all. So whoever's up top is going to be taking like the brunt of it. Target ended enemy behind him. Some, I, I think we do this. Oh, I really, I really think we keep that. Like, I don't love that up top. Don't get me wrong. Because it's such an important unit. Oh, uh, please get that double attack off. Thank you. Okay. We're in there. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. I mean, yes, we're getting that piercing damage. I'm saying, like, our team is looking pretty good. He can hold his own, the Berserker, up there, up by himself. 20% more MP per second. Starting MP. Poison to attackers. You know, I really do not hate the idea of getting yet another safety slime and replacing the full plate armor. Because we could also... We could do this put the plate armor on on you sure sounds good to me what is this now all heroes gain divine for five seconds sounds very good to me double damage if you target that shields this is definitely the ideal uh layout then your target and adjacent enemies gain three frosts Ooh, is it though? Double damage if your target has any shield. Has any shield. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but we we're here for it. Which one is this? Ah, oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, man. Come on, Final Bastion. Come on, Final Bastion. Just let us just stall. Okay, I mean it's fine. We're down one. That's fine. He is not going to take out our, our team up here, even with that AoE. Whoa, that damage all of a sudden just got very spooky. Uh, damage is dealt as if the enemy has 30 less defense. Every two times you attack, apply either Frost or Burn for 50% attack damage over 10 seconds. Uh, I think the key component there is the 20% speed. That's the big thing. Sure. Get that event as well. Keeps us open for options. Tough battle. Victory. Grants an ability orb. 
Let's bring it on, dude. Uh, attacks reduce your target's max HP by 25 and healing for 10% max HP. So a shielded target will be really good there. Apply burn uh, for 10 seconds and a poison for 40%. Yikes. Every three seconds to your target. 100 every three seconds? What the hell is that? Oh, wait. Your attacks apply negate to your target. Whoa. But your ability applies a burn and a poison. What the hell? That's so weird. Okay, so... Sure. <laughs> Heal you for 10% of your max HP. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll rock this. I kind of like you being off on the side, making sure we... No, that was a bad idea. This was a very bad idea. No, this was a very bad idea. This this team is ridiculous! Oh my god! This damage over time is actually crazy. What? Alright, well that was a terrible idea, obviously. No duh. Uh, come back from the dead. Sure, fine, whatever. We'll try that out. Oh my god. Okay, so you attack the back line. Alright, let's just analyze something for a second. Oh, this is super weird. Oh, this is super weird. Okay. Um, reduce your target's defense by five. Target the back for seven unit. Yeah, I get it. Gotcha. Uh, burn. This guy. This guy needs to die so fast. Oh. Okay. Wait. Somebody is attacking. You're attacking him. Okay. Ah. What if there is no back line? There we go. That's better. Okay. I think I have this figured out right, and I think I like it. Okay. Not good. These slimes are actually kind of preposterous in their damage. If you ask me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice! Nice! Not even close, not even close, not even close. <sighs> your attacks deal da additional damage equal to 30% of your defense to all enemies. Um, that is something that we can absolutely put on you. Restore a random knocked out hero to 80% max HP is extraordinarily tempting. I just, let's just readjust our team layout here. Okay. Paper thin, pitch black window materialized in front of the heroes. I'm going to attract something from the other side begins speaking in an alien tongue. It's like when they language before reaching one of the heroes that are familiar with. Uh, upgrade all items. All heroes lose 10 attack, 10% speed, and 10 defense. Upgrade all items? Uh, I, uh, that's a big penalty, but that seems kind of massive, right? Allies will continue fighting after falling in battle, of course. Uh, gain a thousand shield. Your attacks apply a minor curse, deal 20% piercing damage to your target and any adjacent enemies. P 
Piercing means shield's no good. This sucks, though. Remove all your targets MP and apply burn, dealing damage equal to five times the amount removed. Target and adjacent enemies. Uh, you know, this just, it, it just sucks. That's all there is to it. The fact that we do attack, our attack damage to all enemies is really nice. With that there. This ain't great. This ain't great. But that divine, oh my god, that was with all the divine. How are you still alive? Oh, it's because of the dang thing in the back. That's right. I knew that. I remember that. I just read that. Uh, 20 starting MP, 10 attack. Your attacks steal 2 MP from your target. Uh, you know, all of our stuff is upgraded right now. Ability cost upgrades. I feel like that's going to be a really good thing for us uh, in the final boss and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. We could put that on somebody else. Uh, ah. I'll take the money to buy potions. Oh, this is, does not look like a win. I will say that much for sure. These guys suck. They're not immune to poison. That's not immune to poison. Uh, okay. We, should, we duped it all. Okay, that should be really good. Otherwise, we're going to get like another five knockout. We might get a one knockout anyways. Yep, we got a one knockout anyways. Maybe a two even. That would have been a five knockout, no questions asked. At this point, like, since we have so many upgraded things, I feel like we just don't bother with that. I, I think we, if anything, maybe we will upgrade an item here, but I think we buy some potions. Because they're just so good, so good for us right now. Uh, okay. What do we have unupgraded? I mean, that's massive. All right. Do we take the cure-all? Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Okie dokie. Do we do the elite battle? What would we upgrade? Oh, wait. No, we get a, an ability upgrade. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I'm just thinking that we have all these... Um, so we can stun everybody in the back line. Deal 400 damage to all other allies for three seconds. Gain attack for each ally hit. Of course. Okay. Only one is attacking there. Two are attacking there, including the big important guy. He dies, then who's getting targeted? You're getting targeted. All right. Do it. Stun. Eight seconds of stun. That is so much free time. This should be so easy. Okay. And easy it was. Oh, he's going to die, though. Okay. Well, still easy it was regardless. One person dying, it's fine. And keep on going with the gold so we can make sure we get our lovely, lovely... Oh, boy. Tax against you. Your tax 3%. 3, or not 3, 350% 3 chance to apply frost and also apply to all adjacent enemies. That's definitely going to be the thing of choice there. Going up, we're going to just go anywhere we can go to get access to all possible potions. 
Okay. Uh, do damage to your target. You gain speed, 5 MP on attacks. Uh, ba -ba -ba. All enemies targeting an ally below 50% change the target to you. I mean, that's fine. Do we... What would we use here? If anything, I guess it'd just be like the straight up health potion. Let's just watch some health bars here. It's healing over time, but I, I think we, I think we, I think it's a good call. All right, it should guarantee that. I think that guarantees we do this fight without dying, without anyone dying. Oh god, close, close, but we're good. 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 Who? Who, Nelly? Steal two MP from attackers. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Increase your two. Your, increase your speed by two percent per second. That's a really. That's really good. Um. Arguably. That would be better. Like, if we upgraded it, that would be better than this, arguably. Uh, per second, but eventually. Yeah, no, I mean. Oh, that's so tempting. But I think I'm going to go with the gold. We want to make sure we just get as many potions as possible. We have a, a shop right here. I think we definitely sell some stuff. What is this? 30% attack damage to all enemies. I love the concept of that. All heroes gain 14 MP on attacks. All enemies lose. Get that back there. Okay, I think we keep that one. I think we maybe keep that one. I think we can ditch this one. Would that put us in that puts us in upgradesville? Nine poison. That gives us the ability to dupe. We, we might dupe that poison instead, which makes it... Uh, that's really good over the course of, like, the entire fight. We really have to keep that in mind, that that's a, an important factor. Oh, bite me. Um, We need to be down here, right? You definitely need to be down here. You need to... You're just going to die, huh? Yeah, you're just going to die if we have you there. But we need you here for... Uh, for the shielding reasons, maybe? No, maybe we can just rock this. What do we have here? So, you guys don't apply any downgrades. Apply Doom to your target and reduce their defense by 30 and remove all shield. I mean, that, like, is all terrible. Uh, so that's the active. I guess we probably use the uh, the mana reduction thing here. Nope, do not do that to me. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. Okay. that's a, That was spending a lot of resources, but we need this thing in the back dead. It's dead. All right, you were able to, uh, you were able to live for quite a while there, my friend. So props to you. Oh my God, Flask of Flames is huge. We, we just have so many, like, full, like, nearly fully upgraded items that I feel like this is just the way to go, is to spend everything else we have on just raw potions, right? Um. Oh, though. Is there one we don't care that much about? much that sell for 10 that's 55 i mean that's really good we could sell the book or we could sell literally anything fine fine i just there's three whole boss fights coming up here and i don't think we have a chance unless we really go all in here uh all right um same story but up here instead 
Do we just let this rock? God, he gives the shield to all adjacent allies. That's really the issue, too. We could just do this and let him die. But then all the attacks are going on you, so we'll do that instead. All right, we'll just do that. We'll just let him die. We'll put in some good work. Eh, that's... I feel, I feel pretty bad about that. That No, that's not great. But these dupes are going. We got that... that Ward is gone. Your move down here, that's totally okay. Not an issue. In fact, I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, this is great. This is great. We're fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we freaking did it, though. All right. Uh, we're going into a fight, so the money does nothing. But I'll take it anyways, because I don't want that other stuff either. <laughs> okay. Here is the good old question. Um, want you in the same group as one of these. Maybe we just let this happen again. So let's, uh, okay, apply bleed to enemies in the front row. Okay, or we could just have him in the in the different category. Is the front row the front row in both uh, adjacent groups, or is it just the front row in that one? All allies target. Okay. Okay. So you're if you're attacking him, that's great because then you're going to be getting poisoned over time. Um. Ideally, I, like ideally we don't use any potions, but if we do one, like let's do, we'll, we'll start out, we'll do this, we'll do this one, and then nothing else, because I think it'll be good early to get ourselves into that ramp up territory early on. Uh, okay, that poison got duped back there, that's fantastic. Okay. This is going, all things considered, pretty okay. I hate that piercing damage in that bleed. So he is, these front, this front line is going to go down. But you know what? So is the boss. We lost two. Two morale. Could have been way worse. At the start of combat, gained 30 frail attack, 30% frail speed. Protected. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, what else can we spend the gold on? I don't know that we... We don't get a shop, do we? Okay, we get a big old buff. Awesome. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. So who wants the frail... All these frail buffs? 30 frail attack, 30 frail speed. Honestly, I think it'd be best on you... Okay, so who... Uh, ah. e -e -e. Who's passive do we care about? I guess you, right? Keep you alive a little bit better? Uh, for this, I think we want to go with the AoE burn potion. I think that was going to be probably one of the best calls that we could go for. Let's just do it. This is just phase one, man. All right, but that's really good. Oh, no. We can't have him dying right now because we really need him for the next phase. Oh, that was huge. Okay, that was huge. He's alive. He was able to He was able to stand the brunt of it all by himself. And now he's going... Yeah, this is, this is why we needed him alive. What's happening here? You're just getting wrecked. Punk. Welcome to the world. All right, here it is. We could have used more potions, but that's okay. All right, wh what is this again? Uh, apply one revenge to all enemies. I mean, that's pretty rough. That means our, our guys would like slowly kill themselves 
immune to silence, uh, equalize HP. So this is, that's the potion to sit out, I think. That's the 500 shield and 50 defense. I think we pop that just immediately. You are the one to go for, right? Yeah. All right. Oh boy, this sucks, but you know, what are we gonna do? All right. Okay, that's that's a really good beginning. Oh my God, oh my God, this is gonna be great. Okay, just keep on watching. Is this revenge? That is revenge. How many stacks of it? Three stacks, remove it. If somebody gets knocked out, we have the potion. He is taking so much damage over time. Oh, we have a perfect potion in case any issues actually happen, but it does not look like we're even going to lose anybody here. We are done. We've done it. Not even a problem. Oh, my God. Bing. Everybody leveled up to one. The corruption has been vanquished. Corruption 2 is unlocked, and, and so was the outlaw. Oh, my goodness. That was... There was a part in the uh, the beginning of the middle that was looking incredibly, incredibly dicey. But alas, we were able to do it, and we got the Outlaw unlocked. The first time you are reduced below 50% max HP, redirect any enemy targeting you to their next target, heal for 15%, and then gain Hidden. Ooh! And then gain Hidden is a very fun factor. Uh, pocket Sand. It's called Pocket Sand. Because uh, that actually helps a lot. That makes a that gives us another really, really good um, five slot in when we really feel like we need adjacent units. Uh, deal 100% attack damage and poison your target for 50% attack damage. When your target is defeated, any poison from this ability are then transferred to your next target. Poison from this ability specifically. All right, well, we will look into that in the future, but start with zero gold. How much gold do we normally start with? <laughs> Wait, how much gold do we normally start with? We can definitely check that one out in the next episode, but that is going to do it for today. Greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. Make sure you hit the like button. It helps out with the algorithm a great deal. Look at everybody's got like a little aura slightly starting to grow around them. Because we've uh, we've defeated the game once with them, I guess. I think it maybe grows stronger and stronger over time. I'm not sure. But alas, thank you for watching. Get the game with the link at the top of the description. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.